so Talana and I can deal with the dragon. My spirit companion believes we can seal the dragon away, even if we cannot kill it. It is less clear whether I can do so without sealing myself in as well. But I have little choice. This beast will wreak devastation across the way unless we stop it now. No one. <sighs> it's like a lot of things. Oh. Kill the dragon or recover memories. I think we should recapture the memories first. Okay. Okay. I mean, I already have the stuff. I'm sure it's going to come into... Yes. So. I agree. Well, it's not like we want to, like, go for the dragon first and then be like, now let's go collect all the shit. People, people, don't do things so you know them. Good on him. Oh, what was this called? Ra's al Ghul's Reach? <laughs> Razor Yeah, it's pretty much the same as Raza Kale. So I think that you know it'd be really awkward if we kill the dragon, then uncover all the memories and we find out something we're like Oh awkward. Ah, uh, sorry about that. You were just trying to find your babies. Whoops. Oh god damn. wrong way. Well, she wants to look cool for the camera. against the dragon of the Avar. All is in place. I offer thanks to Gilanan, Hala Mother, and to Andraste, make a bride. As you were raised up from mortal men to stand with our creators, our makers, so raise me up now to defend this world. Oh, that. he's one of those. Elfie elves don't like that these days. Or anything. That's an interesting... I wonder if back in Andraste time it was acceptable to think that Andraste was part of the elf thing. Or so, if that's just him. My question when he was like, oh blah blah, I'll be at Andraste's side. Like, that didn't seem like to me like it would be something an elf would normally say. Well, I think at the time, actually, soon after, elves were totally down with Andraste. Yeah. They loved Andraste because she freed them from the Tevinter Imperium and all that stuff. Yeah. And it wasn't until much later where elves were a little bit more, like, didn't like what Andraste stood for because she was, like, the humans' yes, religion. Yes, the humans, the sh Shemlin religion. But, but at the time of him, Andraste was totally cool. Like, yeah. She was like, hey, uh, well, well... because she was, like, buddies with Shartan and stuff. And, and like, she definitely helped free a lot of the, sli the... A lot of the elves. And she helped start the whole, like, giving the Dales to people thing. You know what these remind me of? Those, like, swamp ghosts that people do. Well, get over it's, here. It's running away from you. It's like, gotcha! It's like, Sucker! No! Get! What are you doing? Just no. stand there. It's gonna come back down. You're right. It's like the golden snitch. Gotcha, sucker. Second elven civilization that they tried to build up after Arlathan, or Ar I mean Elvenon, and people thought that 
Okay, so that's different from how it's depicted before this, because it was supposed to be that, like, the... Can I just fast travel here, or do I have to take the boat? <sighs> Whatever, I have to take the boat. People thought that it was just, like, they came and fucked them up, but I guess it has to do with the fact that they didn't help fight the Darkspawn as well. Yeah. So that's an interesting new little bit of reflection to go upon. Yeah. I can imagine the humans would be pretty pissed if the elves didn't help with that. Yes, definitely. Although I still don't think that that quite gives them the right to... No, 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 no. It doesn't. But it's like, it added to it, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I must go to the end and say this itself to Draco. I am at least glad to have friends on my side. Kalana and Herod have been arguing about Herod using the Lyrium to fight demons. Some things never change. Arena has a new alchemical trick she wants to try, like pitch or tar, but stronger. The recipe's straight from Orzammar. They argue, fuss, and mock each other mercilessly. And I would be lost without them. A dwarf getting on someone's nerves. I can't imagine. Different in spitting, but still trying. Learn those lessons now, people. Every age has those destined for greatness, it seems. It's really interesting being able to hear, like, someone talking in the first person from a different time period. I think mm. that's pretty... It's pretty neato. Where's the boat guy? There. There was a fast travel point here. What's this? Kill the dragon. I need to go over here. <sighs> okay, I mean... I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, so that's why I can't fast travel there. That makes sense. Yeah. What happened? The dragon fucked it up. It's probably an ice dragon. Oh, look at that, yeah. Everybody is going to be so pissed. They're like, dude, you've been walking around this place gathering mem memories or some shit, and this dragon has been breathing ice over everybody. Okay? Yeah, but I wanted to, to know for my data logs. For my... I wanted to know for my dream journal what, what the memories were of the Meriden. <laughs> it was really insightful, guys. Ah. Like, thanks for nothing. Hey, the dragon's dead now. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Are you gonna be the one that's gonna remove all this ice? Huh? It's magic ice. It doesn't just melt. We gotta get that it's... weird green shit again. Mm-hmm. This is what happens when we don't use paths. Telenatus was an important thing that he just said, saying what exactly what that means, because there's another time when the fear demon talks to Solas and he's something he's he says something something Nadas. And a lot of people thought that the, he said nothing is inevitable. 
but he didn't say Telenadas. He said something, something Nadas. So he, the fear demon probably said something other than that. Good. So I think they purposely put that in there so people can go back. Yeah. I can't you mean remember. So you can go back? So I can go back and be psychotic about it. Yep. They're obviously talking to me. I think he said Bonaire Nadas. I'm like obsessing about it now. Being yeah. Like, what did he say? Bonardo Nadas. Bonardo Nadas. Fuck. Net's killing me now. He said Bonardo Nadas. What did he say? Hack on. Yeah, you're gonna fight the dragon. Oh yeah. Remember. That dragon that you really wanted to talk to? I didn't know that the dragon's name was Hakon. Just get rid of these little. Balls. Look, that's the dragon! I am the found it. It's talking! It's talking! The dragon's talking! <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The dragon's talking! The cold wind of war! That's the Join demon! Me in battle and die. Yeah! But no, but I mean like that. <sighs> but it's the it's the demon. But we no, because some people are saying it's God. Some people are saying it's a demon. <sighs> it just it has the same uh, voice as the as that guy that you killed. Like it was wait, possessed just, by a just, demon. Wait, just just I. Uh, and I'm dead. So, demon or god? It doesn't... Because everyone says it, it, it's interchangeable because everyone's like, well, demons could be a god, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Just like how Solas could either be a god or... Because it's the same voice. So does that mean it's the same entity, essentially? We don't know whose voice it was inside of the, uh, the when they were transferring, because they were transferring the soul of the dragon into another being. Yeah. So we can see. We'll just have to wait until the dragon has some sort of speech right before we kill it. Yeah. It'll be like, Lowlander, don't you know that the thing that I'm about to say is really, like, super cool? Oh great, I just wasted those grenades for no fucking reason. Thanks a lot, dragon. Come on! You bet- Come back here! Where I better you? not have to follow you! Where do you think you're going? Usually you do, you do a circle around and then a really cool, like, yeah, here we go. Really yeah, cool, I gotta... like, I'm gonna kill all of you type thing. Oh, did you see that? Okay. I'm safe inside these little circle things. Are you gonna come down, or? What? Well, the circle protects you from projectiles. Do I have to come up there? Oops. Whoopsie. Can you like chill for a sec? Oh, good pun, Mari. It wasn't even on purpose, but I'm gonna claim it was. Run into this, and then he can't. You're fine.
Oh, you can just be immune while you're flying. Cool, whatever. I guess that's fair. Ah, oh, come on, everybody. Fight me. Oh, I thought you said bite me, and I was like, bite me! I was like, all right, Bart Simpson. <laughs> you come up to the dragon, you say, like, you're a total bummer, dude. <laughs> I just want to be like a demon spirit and stuff. The Inquisitor's like, no, I have to kill you, demon. He's like, bite me, loser. <laughs> Can you imagine if they gave him some voice like that where it just like completely did not fit? I would love it, actually. All, this, all the same dialogue, but he's just like, I am like winter and like cold and, and war and stuff. <laughs> there should be a mod for the game where you can do that. I agree. You can just interchange all of the enemy voices with like really goofy voice acting. Ah, oh, god damn. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through. Oh! Prove yourself in battle, man. I'm, like, doing it already. It's called enough little baby dragons by at this point that you think the battlefield would be just, like, littered with corpses. It's a little bit, a little bit with corpses. Well, uh, it's pieces of corpses. It's, it's, like, as if we exploded them. I think... Actually, I don't want to say anything. Why? I don't want to jinx myself, that's all. Oh, okay. Because we're almost- Mari, you've, we've uh, almost you've killed it. You've that's already what. said that you're right about everything like a million times. No, so I, I meant- can... I'm, I think we're gonna beat the dragon, but I didn't want to say anything. Oh, okay. So it's like, you can't go back on that now. You've said it like- A million times. A million times just on this recording. <laughs> so. I just really want to be right, because that'd be awesome. Come on, hack on, we need to trigger your dying speech. What? Uh oh. Where did it go? Uh. <coughs> Charming. Back. I've never gotten to see you take down a dragon in person. Corypheus had a dragon. You were there when I killed him. No, I was below when you killed him. Hard to get a good view with a floating mountain in my way. I must say, it's fun to see it up close. Perhaps this calls for a new title. Dragon Slayer Harding, perhaps. Oh, a fancy title goes against the point of being a scout. Nobody should see me coming. Inquisitor Meriden would there be it proud is. that you finished what he started. It's strange. History forgot so much of who he was. They never knew he died saving everyone. Do you ever feel that way? You weren't in the fortress. How'd you hear about Ameridan? I'm a scout, remember? Who do you think writes the messages Liliana reads? Um... Why weren't you helping then? Uh... <laughs> I don't feel forgotten. It doesn't matter. It's not about what we feel. It's about doing what needs to be done. I suppose you're right. For what it's worth. Nice work, Lavellan. Anyway, I'll be at camp if there's anything here you want to finish up. Otherwise, see you at Skyhold. Is that the end? So the simple fact that the dragon talked at all it's just me being like, holy shit, that's how...
dragons are able to talk because the old Defender dragons were able to talk, and everyone was like, something about that makes them special. So blah, 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 blah. So that means that they're like demon god things, right? Yeah, so just the fact that something put something inside of a dragon, and that let them be able to talk and made the dragon extra powerful, I'm like, that's where great dragons come from. Yeah. So, that is exciting to me. Just being able to hear him talk, I'm like... <gasps> That's two instances, and then this one isn't an archdemon, so it's a different type of instance, so it's two different instances with two variables. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Ice Dragon Hide. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. different. Thank you. Ice Dragon Bones. Uh, that's cool. Is that the end? So well, I was thinking, I was like, as Scout Harding was like, yeah, I was like totally spying on you, and like, who do you think writes all the messages for Liliana? I was like, oh, wait, does that mean that Scout Harding is the one that's behind the like Secrets of the Inquisition anonymous Twitter account that like constantly tweets out stuff? Like, and everyone's like, how did they know that about the Inquisition? Who is it that's behind this Twitter account? I'm imagining Scout Harding taking out a smartphone and being like, what is that? Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't you have I didn't know about the secrets of the Inquisition Twitter account. Stacy knows things. I made it up. Oh. But you know how they have the, like, secrets... I thought that was real. No, they have, like, a secrets of Goldman Sachs, like, secrets from the White House, and it's always, like, some disgruntled employee who, like, tweets out things that they hear. Let's make that Twitter account. You want to make the that... Inquisition? Se yeah, and then, like, make up, like, gossip. You want to <laughs> do that? That'd be funny. Let's do that. And then do Secrets of Blackwall and like, mm -hmm. ooh, that's so fun. Let's do that. And we can tweet out like random stuff about them. Have you seen the plans for the new camps? Tree houses. It all sounds awful and precarious. You don't like tree houses? Don't you like the idea of tree houses? <laughs> Probably it's not. A good idea, in theory. Up where the wild animals can't get us. But having solid ground so... Far, far below me with nothing but air in between us is just... You're afraid of heights! Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm afraid of heights too, but... Who would have thought? Scout Harding afraid of heights. Me? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not afraid. Who's afraid? No one's afraid. I love being up high. Lovely views, fresh air, birds flying at my head. Uh, yeah. I'm a little uncomfortable with heights. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I was about to accidentally say something ro dwarf racist. Where I was like, oh, it makes sense because she's a dwarf and dwarves are afraid of the sky. And then I was like, no, she's a surface dwarf. There would be no reason for Wow, her. Mari. I know. Wow. I know, right? It was like... What the fuck? Pretty, pretty, like, dwarf racist. It's like... I was like, no, she's a surface dwarf. There's no reason why she would be afraid of the sky. It's just legitimately her feelings. Like, that was totally wrong of me. I don't even know why I'm friends with you. I'm, it's pretty embarrassing. 